Our next chapter, Reproduction in Animals. Reproduction is an important life process. If we look at the different life processes of animals, there are different processes like nutrition, digestion, respiration, excretion, and it also includes reproduction. So reproduction is a life process of an organism which enable it to produce a new generation. Organisms, they perpetuate their race, they continue their race or species by a process known as reproduction. So reproduction is the producing of their own kind. This is the ability of organisms. Reproduction is seen in both plants and it is seen in animals also. So in your lower class, you have studied reproduction in plants. In seventh class, you studied about the reproduction in plants. Now let us look at the reproduction in animals, how animals reproduce. So in animals, generally we see two different kinds of reproduction. The process of reproduction takes place in two different ways. In animals, we see that animals laying eggs and animals giving birth to young ones. So certain animals, they give birth to the young ones and some animals, they lay eggs. The eggs will be hatched into young ones. So two different ways. So now let us see the animals that lay eggs and animals that give birth to the young ones, they have some different features. Their body features, there are certain differences in the external body features. Let us observe some animals and their external features. Then uh, we will study this two different methods of reproduction in animals. So now we are going to find, is there any relation between the external features of an animal and its method of reproduction? So that means we are looking whether the external body features, will they give any clue about their mode of reproduction that is laying eggs, oviparous or giving birth to the young ones, viviparous. So animals that lay eggs are called oviparous animals and animals that give birth to the young ones directly are called viviparous. So here we have a list of animals, deer, leopard, pig, fish, buffalo, giraffe, elephant, frog, sparrow, lizard, crow, snake and cat. So among this list, we are going to uh, divide it into two groups depending upon the external feature, external ear. External ear, see, you have an external ear on our face. So we have an external ear. We are going to see whether which animals have the external ear and which animals do not have the external ear. And we are going to make two groups of this whole set into two groups. One group with external ear, the other group without external ear. Deer, it is having external ear. Leopard, leopard is also having external ear. Pig, pig is having external ear. Fish, it is not having external ear. Buffalo, buffalo is having external ear. And giraffe is having external ear. And elephant is having external ear. And frog is not having external ear. Sparrow. Sparrow is not having external ear. And the lizard. Lizard is not having external ear. Crow. Crow is also not having external ear. Snake is not having external ear. Cat. It's having external ear. See. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So among this list, these animals, they have external ear. These animals do not have any external ear. If you see, all these animals reproduce by laying eggs. All these animals reproduce by giving birth to the young ones. So what does it show there? External ear is a characteristic feature which decides the animal is whether egg laying or give birth to the young ones. Oviparous or viviparous. So, all the viviparous animals which give birth to the young ones, they have an external ear. And all the animals that have, that do not have an external ear, they give 
birth by laying eggs ovipares animal